Hello everyone, welcome to Indie Voice. Today for this game review, we're looking at a oddly strange game. Now what I mean by strange, I mean by looking at the trailer for this game, I was completely confused on how this is going to turn out, but all in all, this is a really frustrating game. And the name of that game is called Terror Squid. Now, just by saying that, what are you thinking about? Is this gonna be a horror game? Is this gonna be something completely crazy? Is this gonna be really, really surreal? Well, to answer that question, no, it is definitely not. Uh, so this is a game that starts off as, you conduct your symphony of destruction. Dodge tantalizing bullet patterns of your own design, survive long enough to release your crazy blast of dark energy, detonating your projectiles in glorious satisfaction of chain reactions. Perfect your strategy and squeeze every precious second out of each run. Now what I mean by that is this game is a first of create your own bullet hell type game with a unique vector graphics and thumping soundtrack combined to deliver a deliciously terrifying arcade experience, uh, no kidding about that. Feel the dopamine rushing throughout your veins and giving into the assimilation. This game, if you ever look at the trailer of Terror Squid, it gets really, really surreal and really, really weird. But it is so weird that you are so interested on how this game is going to work. About my personal experience throughout playing this game of Terror Squid, this game is actually really fun, even though it's not for everybody, especially for those that aren't into bullet hell type games but it does bring a creative side, make something extremely challenging. And besides seeing the weird trailer for it, I would definitely recommend for those that really love bullet hell games. So the pros and cons for Terror Squid are the pros, which it's really creative on how you're allowed to create your own bullet hell with shooting in different directions of this orb, of where your bullets go from this way to that way, to gaining enough points and stamina to use your dark energy to blast all of them to make mass combinations and get a high score. Along with other things you get to experience and the different types of variations of the bullets that'll be going around during different types of mechanics where they either go one direction or go spread out all over the place. If you don't hit them all, you get a low score. If you get them all, you get a very high score, which makes things a little bit easier or very hard. Now the cons are, if you're not into bullet hell type of games, I really would not recommend this to you because you'll probably get easily frustrated and seeing how difficulty this game does bring it's probably not for you but if you are into this i really recommend it so i give terra squid a good score of a try it it is something that's not for everybody that does not like bullet hell games but thank you for liking commenting and definitely subscribing but just so you know there is no hope there is only terra squid